morning, everyone. It's great to be with you. Uh, it's a Tuesday, uh, July 21st. Um, I pray that yesterday you were able to bless someone with your words. I pray that you were able to enrich their lives, uh, even as you were enriched in the word of God to you, the great word of his grace and love to you uh, in Jesus Christ. I pray that empowered you uh, to love another with the words that you spoke. Uh, yeah, our, our, the verses that we'll read today is from the book of Proverbs, uh, is from the 12th chapter. And they begin like this, or, or they go like this, a truthful witness gives honest testimony, but a false witness tells lies. Kind of like speaking the truth in love, right? We, we always speak the truth. Um, and, and certainly we look for wisdom in how we speak those words sometimes. Uh, but we never run away from that which is truthful, but we always speak those words in love. And we pray that God guard the door of my mouth, right? Lord, show me how to do this. But, but that, that's where this little section begins. It points out to us that we, we need to be truthful. We need to speak God's uh, truth or truth into the lives of others, but always in love and always in great gentleness. So it says, it goes on, reckless words pierce like a sword. Uh, and, and have you experienced that? Um, when, when you've, you've been thoughtless, when maybe you allowed anger to, um, to, 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 you acted on it and, and you said words that you wish you could take back, um, or, or just non-thinking words. Um, on the other hand, maybe you've been hurt by words like that. Reckless, reckless words pierce like a sword. And we've all experienced that, right? But then it says this, but the tongue of the wise bring healing. You know, I, I, lots of times in, in the Old Testament it talks about the wise and even the New Testament. And I'm always remember, I always remember that verse when it says that Jesus is the wisdom of God. Uh, so finally, the thing that gives us wisdom is to know Jesus and to love like Jesus and to speak like Jesus. Huh? Uh, and, and so what it's saying here is uh, reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise, those who know Jesus, bring healing. Just like when he walked the earth, he brought healing. Uh, certainly when he, he healed those who were sick, but he brought healing with his words. They said, no one ever talked like this man. Uh, that's how we're empowered to live our lives. And, and it begins with those who are closest to us. It goes on here. Uh, Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you've ever fallen into that canyon uh, uh, of lying your way through a difficult situation, you usually get found out, and, and it usually doesn't end good, and, and you have hurt someone and hurt yourself um, in, in the process, right? So the, the uh, wisdom of God here is to, to speak the truth, right, to, to be honest, um, because you're going to get found out anyway, and there's going to be more hurt involved. Uh, and then it says, There is a deceit in the hearts of those who plot evil but joy for those who promote peace. Um, it always gets back to the heart. Now, yesterday I talked about how it always gets back to the word of God to us, to, to Jesus. Uh, that is the place that, uh, that, that we're empowered, uh, bo both to speak words of love and, and also to begin brand new uh, when we fail. And so it, this section ends with the idea of the heart. There is this seat in the hearts of those who plot evil. There's a seat in the hearts of those who speak evil. Huh? But, but then it says here, but joy for those who promote peace. Uh, in the words we speak, God would empower us to speak peace. Speak, the, speak his truth in love. Always be honest uh, understand that we bring words of life uh, and always know and share this peace that we have in God's word to us from first to last, Jesus. I, I hope you'll find uh, someone, have the opportunity today uh, to share uh, through your words uh, the heart of love that you have for them. Uh, remember, uh, the Bible says to, to be quick to listen. And so to speak, I think the beginning of speaking is, is always listening from the heart, caring about the other, doing life with them, uh, so that when you speak, uh, it's from a heart uh, that has earned the right uh, to be listened to. So, uh, God be with you today. Let, let's pray. Uh, dearest Jesus, we thank you for these words from Proverbs, these words that uh, 
that, that in a sense reflect what you did. You spoke the truth in love. Um, you brought peace and you brought healing. But Lord, we pray that every day with our words, we might speak the truth in love and bring peace and healing. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.